Real quick, I also just want to add flash message or style or flash messages. So we're going to use Bootstrap to do this. So they'll just look like this, and they can be dismissible. So we'll make a new branch. Let's call it Flash Messages. Create that new branch. Go to our project, and then get fetch, and then get check out Flash messages and of course I wrote flesh messages which sounds interesting <laughs> so we're on this branch clear this out and then what I'm going to do here is under shared make a new partial called let's call it flash.html.erb and then we'll go to bootstrap and copy this paste that in and what I'd like to do is just wire this up real quick so in here, under the container, we'll just do render partial shared flash, just to see if this even got wired up. Okay, so that's in there, which is cool. I wonder if it would look better actually above the nav bar. Hmm. Keep it in here for now. We'll, we can adjust the styling in a minute. But this is obviously hard coded. We want to look for flash messages. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is in here, I know that according to the docs, the flash method has an each me uh, method on it, or the flash class, I guess, has an each method on it. So we can iterate over them. So flash dot each dot do. Gonna put this over here. And then here there's the type of the message and then there's the message itself. So in here we can just render out the message. And for the type, we can actually dynamically update this. So we can do A ternary operator here. So if the type equals, I think, notice, then we'll do one thing, otherwise, do another thing. So I think the two things are notice and alert, right? So notice and alert. I might actually have to. So you know what I'll do real quick? I'll go in here because I kind of forget what's going to be coming out of here. So I'm going to do a I'm going to do a raise. And we'll see what this does. I don't think it will it won't do anything yet because I actually have to. Okay, so first of all, the do had to go before that. That's my fault. If I refresh this. Let's just get rid of this for a second. Okay, so we're not getting any flash messages, which makes sense. So if I just do test at, if I log in with the test account, this should raise an exception, which is good. That's what I wanted. Because I kind of forget what each of these things is. So I'm going to do, t and this, this console is helpful. So if I do type, okay, so it comes back as a string. And the message should be signed in successfully. So in here, I think I can do if the type equals notice, then do one thing, otherwise do another. And what in that case, what that's going to be is just changing the CSS class, so if it's a notice, we'll do alert, we'll do this, otherwise we want to do danger. 
get rid of this. Okay, so that's green. That goes away. If I sign out, sign out successfully. So this is working. We should probably, let's see, maybe just add a margin top. I actually gotta look this up real quick. Margin and padding. Well, actually, you know what? It'd probably be easier to do it to the nav bar. So let's just do, I guess, margin bottom. So let's do M MV4. So these are the numbers that we have access to. All right, that's good. That works. So let's go ahead and commit these changes. And then finally, go to our repo. Might have to push these changes up. Just go ahead and merge this into master. So that's in the master. Create the pull request. Travis CI will work in the background. We'll squash this into one commit, which I think was actually just the case, anyways. Then we'll delete that branch. 